Hello class. Uh, this is video five. Yes, I'm behind. I had to figure this one out. Um, no, I didn't write the question. I just put it up. The um, the question of the day or the week is: Do why do I like cupcakes more than I like people? Or why do I like this versus that? Bread versus celery. Um, whatever. Um, first, I'll tell you mine and why. I kind of disagree a little bit with this question, with what the way that they phrase it anyway. Um, I, why do I like computers more than people? Well, therein kind of lies the problem, uh, I think, is I do kind of like people, but I kind of like computers and stuff too. It's, um, wow, this just popped into my head and it's, it's very random. Um, just as Kip would sing to his uh, bride-to-be in Napoleon Dynamite, it's true I like technology. Anyway, um, wow, I just came from nowhere. So, why do I like those things? Um, when a computer crashes, I can usually fix it. can always fix it depending on how much time you want to spend on it. Or just replace it. When computers um, computers do exactly what you want them to do all the time. Now that may not be what you think you want them to do because you expect it to understand what you think instead of what you type or tell it to do. But so people do not. People can hurt you. People can break your heart. <coughs> people can betray you. People are their own people. Having said that, um, if that was truly the case, why would I be teaching a class? Why would I care about you guys? Which I do. Um, so I guess that, that kind of leads me to how I think that this question is a little bit screwy. I get what they're asking with the question. The question, the kind of the point of the question to me is reinforce what you like. It's, it's okay to like one thing better than another thing. It, it's okay to, you know, be who you are and not bend to societal pressures. Got that. That's cool. That's a great idea. I agree 100%. But, wow. Um, on the flip side of that, my 17 year old is autistic and he has a lot of trouble with new things. He has a lot of trouble with for instance, new food. Uh, one of his things is food. He, uh, uh, to get that boy to eat something besides a, a pizza or a plain hamburger with just the meat and the bread, or you know, cereal, just certain cereal is the one that he likes, is a nightmare. I, I mean, it's better now. He's older and, he, and he's more mature than he was. But, I mean, first 12 years, what a nightmare. Why I bring that up is that he is a very strong in his beliefs and his thoughts and his opinions. So in this case he likes pizza over salad and he will never touch a salad. If you make him eat a salad or make him eat a piece of lettuce he will force himself to be sick or are used to. I mean you know like I say, he's older now, but he won't try it now. No, still, that boy eats basically the same things that he's eaten as soon as he can make choices about food because he, he's locked on to things that he likes and he will not do anything else. So I guess that's why I have a little bit of an issue with what the question is. I think that you should try new things. Like um, if I just like stuck on the technology side and never did the people, tie, people side. I would never have taught class. I would never, you know, be able to enjoy all the stuff that you guys do and have fun with you guys and everything. And I would kind of be introverted and just, you know, chained to a desk and happy to be there. So, um, try new things, but it is okay to have strong opinions and like what you like. You are who you are. Um, don't let people change you.
go do try stuff, try different stuff every once in a while. Nothing illegal or stupid, obviously. But just so that's my take on it. Bye.